Hello friends, today I have with me a video on the new variant of the COVID-19 virus, the Omicron variant. The Omicron variant is a variant of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. It was first reported to the World Health Organization from South Africa on 24th November 2021. On 26th November 2021, the WHO designated it as a variant of concern and named it Omicron, the 15th letter in the Greek alphabet. It is not yet clear whether Omicron is more transmissible compared to other variants, including Delta. The number of people testing positive has risen in areas of South Africa affected by this variant, but studies are underway to understand if it is because of Omicron or other factors. It is not yet clear whether infection with Omicron causes more severe disease compared to infections with other variants, including Delta. Preliminary data suggests that there are increasing rates of hospitalization in South Africa, but this may be due to increasing overall numbers of people becoming infected rather than a result of specific infection with Omicron. There is currently no information to suggest that symptoms associated with Omicron are different from those from other variants. Initial reported infections were among university students, younger individuals who tend to have more mild disease. But understanding the level of severity of the Omicron variant will take days to several weeks. All variants of COVID-19, including the Delta variant that is dominant worldwide, can cause severe disease or death, in particular for the most vulnerable people, and thus prevention is always key. As of 28th November 2021, the World Health Organization update states, there is currently no information to suggest that symptoms associated with Omicron are different from other variants. A study performed between 1 and 7 December by the Center for Disease Control found that the most commonly reported symptoms were cough, fatigue and congestion or runny nose, making it difficult to distinguish from a less damaging variant or other virus. Research published in London on 25th December 2021 suggested the most frequent symptoms stated by users of the ZoCovid app were a running nose, headaches, fatigue, sneezing and sore throats. On 26 November 2021, the WHO asked nations to enhance surveillance and sequencing efforts to better understand circulating SARS-CoV-2 variants. It also asked the nations to submit complete genome sequences and associated metadata to a publicly available database such as GISAID. Report initial cases, clusters associated with virus of concern infection to WHO through the IHR mechanism. Where capacity exists and in coordination with the international community, perform field investigations and laboratory assessments to improve understanding of the potential impacts of the virus of concern on COVID-19 epidemiology, severity and the effectiveness of public health and social measures, diagnostic methods, immune responses, antibody neutralization or other relevant characteristics. You can find the link of my video on the case study of COVID-19 in the description box below. Thanks for watching.